What's going on everybody? Today I am uh, going to be doing something a little bit different. Going to be doing a uh, kind of a, a creek, a creek challenge. I don't think I've ever done this. I've literally, I don't think I've ever filmed a video fishing in in a creek. So I'm going to try it today. It's a very small creek. I have no idea if there's any fish in it. Not, not a clue. This could be nothing, but it's close to a lake that has fish in it that I've been to. So I, I take it that that probably is a good sign that this might have some fish. My objective today is just to catch some bass. I have no idea if, I mean, maybe I won't be. Maybe I'll catching panfish, but I hope I'm catching bass. I'm not much of a pan fisherman. Um, so I'm going to take, you know, the basics. I'm going to go down there with maybe a jig or a shaky head, you know, weightless Senko, maybe a chatterbait. Basically basic, basic things. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be kind of a change of pace for from the, you know, the boat fishing. You know, I brought, I brought the old, the old 10 pounder boat here and uh, I'm taking that out later tonight. But for now, I wanted to see if I could catch a fish in a creek before I go and do that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically, that's basically what's going on today. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you guys are out there catching fish. But for now, I'm going to go try to catch some bass. Enjoy. Currently walking down to the creek here. It's looking fairly saucy. I haven't even seen the water yet. Just, uh, just seen all these rocks and whatnot, and it looks pretty good. I made it to the old spot here, and I'm uh, gonna set my poles right here. I don't wanna make too much noise. There's a lot of fish down there. Actually, yeah, you can see tons of fish. I might have to run up to my truck and grab my, my more of a zoom, can you see me? More of a zoom lens, so you guys can actually see these fish, but you can see them swimming around down there. There's tons, tons of bluegill, tons of bass, tons of crappie, so I think I, made a good uh, good decision coming here. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really, really interesting to see if I can actually catch any of these fish. Hope you guys enjoy the old mini creek, op, I don't know what this is, little drainage something challenge. Here we go. I brought three poles, shaky head, Senko, and a jig. I'm gonna start with the jig just because I saw some, a little bit bigger largemouth in there. And I think if, if this little bluegills probably won't mess with this too much, so I'm gonna give this a shot here. I don't even know how to cast down this thing. We're gonna we're just gonna cast and see what happens. It's more not even a cast. It's more of just like a drop. This is this is like a 15 foot drop right here. Don't think I've ever set the hook so v like vertical in my life. It's literally just gonna be a straight up straight up fish catch if I actually catch one of these things. This is better. This is much better. All right. Ooh, there's a bass right there. Let's see if I can catch him. All right, these fish do not like the jig. Not a fan. I just, I can see bass everywhere. They just don't want this. So I'm going to change the Stanko. There's one. There's one. Fish. Little bass. There we go. Finally. My God, that took forever. I was starting to get real nervous here that I wasn't going to be able to catch anything. I've been here for about 20 minutes throwing the same lure, and I think these fish got really scared when I pulled up because I was kind of stomping around on that concrete a little bit, and uh, I came down on these rocks and haven't been talking much, kind of been quiet. That little dude munched the Senko. That's not the size we want. I saw some bigger ones. See, buddy. Back in the water he goes. That's good, though. That is really good. Sorry if I'm not, like, super enthusiastic right now. I'm just trying not to be loud. These fish, like, literally, the second I got here, and started talking they all left like i didn't see a single one of them these things are smart so i'm trying to kind of keep my cool kind of calm down a little bit and uh you can see it's just a teeny tiny little creek with a spillway and uh, i'm gonna walk down there and try to try to catch them out of the creek in a minute but for now i think i'm seeing most of my fish in the in the spillway six and a half hours late you boys already know we doing big things out here today at the old jj's this is the most awkward thing in the world, walking with a camera. You ready to catch a fish? Yeah. Jesus! We're good, folks. We are out on the water today. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna try to do a topwater sesh. A lot of you guys were commenting saying it was annoying when I said sesh, so I'll make sure to say it a lot in this video. It was also, <laughs> it was also you guys got pissed off when I kept saying yak, so we're gonna do a topwater sesh, and, uh, I won't be in a yak, but there is also a yak, so, yak. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Topwater. You might throw the plopper. Actually, I will throw the plopper for sure. There's zero wind, though. Zero Zero freaking wind. It is 6.04 p.m. So we got about 
two and a half to three hours to make something happen. Pretty excited. We're hopefully gonna catch a lot of fish. We took the mystery tackle box out here earlier and caught some punch fish. So we might we might have to punch right away until that sun kind of gets down gets down yonder. But essentially, we're gonna try to catch some topwater fish. That's the goal today. Always set a goal. Got to accomplish goals. Do you have any other words of wisdom? Catch fish. Starting off with the froggy, hoggy, doggy. That's the specific lure that I'm throwing today. I feel like I have not caught frogfish in a while. Like, maybe a week or two, which is a while for me. I mean, I live and die by this freaking thing, so. Right now, obviously, it's not prime conditions for frogging, because uh, pretty, pretty freaking sunny, so. That's usually key. There you go. There you go. That looks hooked up. First fish of the day, boys. Oh, and we're in the nursery. Close to, close to the camera, make them look. Yeah, look at look how big that one is. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Digging. There you go. That's first fish of the day. There we have it, folks. Punching, punching, punching. It's not really what I wanted to be doing just because I punched for the MTB video because I said a bunch of punching stuff and it worked. Uh, but yeah, I can't I can't not punch when the punch bites on. I am gonna frog though. Don't don't worry. If you guys are getting bored of the punching vids, wait. I'm gonna throw the plop daddy and I'm gonna throw the frog here. Once that sun goes down, sun's still high. Sun's out, gun's out, folks. Let's catch another. There's one. Yep, there he is. My first punch fish squeaker. That was on the old craw, which, well, this was a craw until I took my pincher, but on the old craw. We're waiting for the sun to go down. It's taking its sweet time. I'm gonna keep on, keep on punching here until that sun goes down. No way, you caught him back there. Oh, uh oh, God, dude. Uh oh. Oh, he's off. There's one, there's one. Yep. Another punch fish. Come here, buddy. I don't know why we can't catch the big ones punching. I don't know where the big ones are. They might be out deep, but hell, I'll take it. This is fun. This is fun even though we're in the nursery. We're still ripping these fish out of freaking Narnia, which is uh, always a fun time. So you guys know me. I like giving you guys tips, and I didn't do it. I haven't done it so far in this video. So I'm going to try to give you guys some tips. So I am punching. I would not recommend this lure um, at all. This is a terrible punching lure, but it's pretty much the only soft plastic that I have. It'll catch fish, but you're going to go through a big mess. Of them. I've got a big pile of them down there because these claws grab onto literally. I mean, half my claw is missing already. They grab, they grab onto everything. So I would recommend not using this one. Use a bait that's slender. Um, and doesn't have a ton of action doesn't doesn't kick its hand you know its claws or legs or whatever appendages you want something slim sleek something that goes in and out of cover really easy so don't do what i'm doing today yes i probably you know i've caught some fish i'll probably catch a couple more fish but i would recommend not using it otherwise you're gonna i mean i've already gone through 10 of these things and i've only caught like four, four or five fish so that's tip number one tip number two go with the lightest weight you can get away with and when i say get away with that means get through the cover. So if I'm, you guys have seen us, we're, we're flipping way over the top of these reeds. I'm um, trying to land in the water pockets that are kind of like back there a ways. I'm catching freaking weeds. You guys have seen kind of what we're doing. We're, we're throwing way, way beyond the edge of these reeds here. And, uh, and so, you know, the lightest weight that you can get away with that will get you, get you into the water is essentially what you want. This right here, I believe this is like a five, five sixth ounce, which is a or five eighths maybe i don't know what that is but you know i usually go with like a three quarter is kind of my starter or so and then i'll uh, i'll go up from there sometimes i go to a one ounce i've thrown a one and a half ounce that's usually punching mats though that's usually not punching reed so that's that you want to you want a nice strong flipping hook and you want to tie a snell knot that is key if you don't know what a snell knot is i'm not going to show you today in this video but just youtube it. there's plenty of videos out there you want to tie those and then what you want to look for are little open pockets. So you can, as can see, I know you guys can't see overly well, but here's just a mess of reeds and you guys can see those little dark patches, those little dark spots. Those are all little pockets and that's what you want to target in on. Some because one, they're usually shaded and two, it just leaves a nice little opening for a bass to kind of sit there and ambush its, ambush its prey. So you want to toss it into the pockets, let it sink down to the bottom. You know, pull up once, pull up twice, not there. You reel it in, you throw it back out there. Get the fastest gear ratio reel you have. Get a nice heavy rod like this. This is my uh, this is my Flare Signature Series flipping frog and stick. It's a uh, it's a 7.3 X heavy. You want something super heavy duty to rip those fish out of out of the heavy cover if you're fishing fishing stuff that kind of looks like this. But essentially, that's punching. That's a quick one minute punching 101 from me as I'm getting snagged in all these 
This is why you don't want to use this bait because it's, it's too soft and you catch all these reeds. But that's, that's that, folks. Um, hopefully that kind of explains it. Either way, Alec, Alec isn't even in my boat anymore. He, he left. He went to go get a drink. Uh, he was thirsty. I forgot. You know, we didn't grab any Gatorade or whatnot. But I wanted to keep fishing. I want to keep catching some fish. But that is punching Juan Ho Juan. It's that time, guys. Top water. Froggy. Good. Cheese and rice, kid. What are you doing back there? Richard, chill out. You'd think this guy had one too many drinks, but it's getting to that time. We got about 45 minutos mas. If you guys don't speak Spanish, I don't know what that means, but it sounded right. We're gonna, I'm gonna throw the frog. What are you throwing? Spooker? Spook. It's, it must be Halloween. It's getting pretty spooky. I'm gonna toss the old froggy hoggy doggy and see if, well, that was a great toss. Great toss flare, six feet from the reeds. That's key. Howdy folks, as you may or may not know, I am at the MTB Crib House. I forgot to do an outro for the video that you guys are watching. Well, uh, you guys watched that video when I was in Nebraska and then the next morning I flew to Texas because we're doing some big things with the old, the old Guggen Squad and the MTB Crib and all that fun stuff. So anyways, I'm just here to end the video. It's really all I'm here doing. I was editing this video on the plane. I was like, holy crap, I forgot to do an intro. Totally forgot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did not catch a ton of fish. Didn't catch any big ones, but I did uh, hopefully teach you guys a little bit about punching uh, and uh, kind of like the whole flipping and pigeon type thing. Huh? Hey, I'm vlogging. Look at that. He's Rob. Rob's talking to me. He's uh, he's talking to me through the through the intercom thing. That's that's pretty dope, actually. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here. We're we're doing big things here at the Guggen Squad house. Thank you guys so much for watching. In peace. <laughs>